Hello everyone and welcome to the evil within. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to another horror game. Great, right? Right? And I'm back with a face cam. Long time that it hasn't been on the channel. Uh, there's a reason for that. I didn't have my tripod. Now I have it. Well, it's not even mine, but this is not what this episode is about. This is about me getting scared and crying like a little bitch. So, I don't really have anything else to talk about. So, let's just jump into it and um, stuff will find itself. Alright. I don't know which difficulty to go for this game. I, uh, I'm actually gonna just make- I'm gonna make this a little bit brighter. Just for the sake of the footage. I can always fix it in post. By the way, that fucking chair moving scared the shit out of me when I was testing the recording. I was so fucking scared. Jesus Christ, this game has such good subtle scares. But at the same time, I remember watching Markiplier's playthrough a real long time ago, back when the game came out. And I remember just being like, this is that's not that bad. So this is probably one of the reasons why I'm playing this game instead of like finishing that space or something. Plus it's something new and I honestly wanted to play this for a while now. We're also going to be playing on survival, meaning on the standard difficulty, challenge and overcome your fears. And that's what we're ab all about here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> God damn it, I don't know I want to do this, but at the same time I want to. It's time that I overcome my fears. God damn it, really already with the mannequins? Oh my god. You fucking hear how fucking spooky that that loading music is or whatever? Alright, let's watch this cutscene. All units, all units, 1199, expedite cover code 3, Deacon Mental Hospital. 184 copy, code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy, 184. Apparently I did not turn on the subtitles. Well, shit. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. Said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. One three one, please advise. Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal. Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? One two seven, one two four, please respond. Joseph, you like my black screen, by the way? I think there's a connection. It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene respond. Yeah, shake your book and tell me this what happened, boy. Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problem with Jim Owens on the Beacon Memorial. Is there any... God damn it! Jesus! Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. Thank you for telling me her name. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Not cryptic in any certain way. Also, she has fucking purple eyes. I want to have purple eyes. I sh I should I should shave. I should I don't know fucking change my look or something. That guy looks awesome. I want to look like him. <laughs> the main guy, the detective, or whatever. Of course, we have a coat. Make of it? Love it. Connelly, contact dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Wow, she's dead inside. She's, she's probably a machine. Alright, so yeah, I already did some settings, for example, the game is not all the time in letterbox, which it was, by the way, originally. Some people, of course, went to different um, config files and, like, fixed that by removing the bars, but uh, now it's actually a setting in the game. This is one of the benefits of playing a game that came out a while ago, is that you have an opportunity of actually getting a finished product uh, in, a, in a better state than it was at launch. Of course, there are games exceptions like Witcher 3, which came out and were amazing from the start, but you never know, man. You never knew. Also, this game is really full of different secrets, and sometimes you don't really understand why like you blood. go one place instead of another. Right. Stay sharp. But uh, hopefully I'll find some of the secrets. I'll find some of the spooky, spooky stuff. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. I mean, I take her with us. Oh boy. 
Already spooky, scary stuff. Also, I am playing with a, con uh, with a mouse and keyboard, meaning that I have zero excuses about missing my shots. And zero excuses about just sucking all over the place. Did you hear something? Yes, I definitely heard something. Do you think, you think you're going crazy by yourself? Bacon Mental Hospital. Of course it's a fucking mental hospital. Oh boy, that is a fucking massacre. Where? I thought it was a big boulder, not actually a table. Uh, any secrets? Could you not? I am playing this during, like, in the morning, but... No one's home, so... I definitely spooky scary scared. Oh no, I triggered a cutscene. That's always bad. Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is... Ruvik? I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. We got him. Alright, got it. Gotta go check that. I like the absence of music. And that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh boy, of course we're gonna see something that we we're not really connected to necessarily directly. We're gonna get spooked. Because it's gonna be a whole new level of something that we've never seen before. What the hell? He's Sonic! And he's static! Was that a syringe or did he kill us? If it was a syringe... Maybe this, this, all of this is just a fever dream or something. Maybe we just went crazy. Hi there, rats. Maybe I should be playing this with a controller to penalize myself. <laughs> to be aiming with nipples? I'm not doing anything by the way yet. Oh wow, hello. Hey there, sir. That that knife behind you looks pretty fucking um how would you say that shiny? I like shinies. Okay, mouse move for that camera. Okay, I can see you chopping people over there. I can see a knife. I can see the bottom of whatever. I can't really go too high, so um I mean, I get it, there's a knife. And yes, I get it, he's... ...cutting people down or whatever. Oh, uh, boy. I don't like the fact that he's walking and everything shaking. Ugh. Okay, press space repeatedly. Mechanical keyboard! Bawa! Wow, this is so fun and scary. I like how this is in first person. I completely forgot that this game had, like, first person elements. Like, he's like, oh, my back! Oh, this is somewhat realistic, I guess. Yep, of course you don't have a gun. That would be too easy, man. One one of the ways that... Okay, how do I do this? Okay, control is to... Okay. Is to crouch. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Sneaking. Okay, yeah, okay. There you go. Thank you for telling me how to sneak. I already figured it out by myself. Animations are actually pretty well, except, you know, the fact that he's clipping through the wall because the hitbox is actually not different from the wall behind that wall, behind that corner. Uh, uh, can I change sides? I mean, I know, if I remember that you can die here accidentally. If he comes back, so... Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Can you walk on the table and not to me? Okay, thank you. Can I maybe stab him? Is that a thing? Oh shit, he's not dead! I, f I thought I was gonna kill him! I honestly thought- Oh, for a second I thought he's gonna die. <laughs> nope. Okay. I am beheaded. Screen is spooky red. The loading screen for now is more scary than the whole game. As far as I played it. <laughs> okay, there's a blue thing? 
something over there? Also, I've changed my setup. If you like it, leave a like and comment below. I mean, you don't actually see the setup, which I never actually did any setup vloggy kind of things. Ordinary keys! A key ring found in metal hospital basement. Oh no, I didn't finish reading. I thought I could rotate it. Can you, can you stop with the music? Can you, can you? Maybe there's something in that box. Oh, I want to go back and look in that box. Maybe there's something there. God, that cloth is wiggling no matter what. Also, that is really good physics. Holy balls. Rolf. That was me burping. <laughs> I like how it's like, it even has a prompt called sneak kill, sneak kill, sneak, sneak kill, and it doesn't kill. Well, thank you game, misleading the player, I'm gonna sue you. What is this? Nope, nope, it, w it wasn't shiny, I, I, I was misled. One more time, okay, where is the fucking door? Everything's so kinda dark. Oh, there you go, there's a door. Okay, can I run? I like how the audio amplifies when you stand up. That is spooky, man. Does that mean I use this item? I heard him breathing! Please don't go after me! Is there any traps I'll trigger? There's that's definitely a trap. I do not want to trigger that. Can I not? I could actually see that. Can I not do anything? I have to walk through it. Great. Oh my god, he has a chainsaw. Of course. A hallway. That's that's kind of fun. That's neat. Alright, he's up right after me. I would like to look back, but I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, the animations are pretty fucking fluid, I'm not gonna lie. Ow, my leg? Room, room. Okay, thank you. That's actually pretty nice of you. Okay. Okay, yeah, I remember this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, the saws. I don't even saws. How would you call this? Oh, how nice that there's a fucking hatch just underneath it. That's pretty neat. Ooh, slidey, slidey, do. Uh, of course I gotta get covered in blood and get some fucking disease, probably. Then die in my mid-40s. Fuck, great. Ah, oh, that's a pool of blood. Oh, that is good-looking blood, am I gonna lie? I definitely have a feeling of disgust playing this. Oh, it's true, we have an open wound. And we're all covered in someone else's bloods. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, honestly, so far I'm not that scared, which I'm enjoying a lot, but I am slightly disgusted. And it's rare that a game makes me disgusted, honestly. But this is doing a pretty good job so far. Dude, the animations are fucking great! Oh my god. Bethesda, you're awesome. Okay, where are we going? We fell from there? Okay, no, we fell from here. Uh, maybe we need to twist and turn something? Twist and shout. Ah, uh, I mean, if he'll drop from there, that makes sense. It would be great if he doesn't, though. I, I, I'll appreciate that too, game. Thanks. Could could I open this and I was just dumb? Okay, so I can actually press space. It doesn't even have a prompt anymore. Whoa, that is good lighting. Oh, does it have, like, film grain on? Oh, right, it does have that. Oh, that's cool. Is there something here? Sorry, sir. I need to uh, make you, uh, like, walk a little bit more than needed. Oh, wait. Maybe I can press space anyway. No, I guess not. Maybe it will give me a prompt if I find a secret. I don't know. I actually know if it has any proper secrets. Probably, right? Collectibles or something? No? Because I'm all, I'm all about that life. What was that? What are you doing? Uh, now it's, now it's, now the other one is gonna be dirty. Great, looking awesome. Ooh, what is that? Ew. Oh, that was someone's bar for jizz. 
I mean, I can still sneak. That's pretty great. I can also slowly walk. Is that a man? It's a man in a wheelchair. And I'm gonna go that way. I'll go this way first. There's absolutely fucking nothing in here. Why are these other closing doors? Can you not? That would be great. Hello, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the exit? Don't fall over, detective. I, d I honestly don't know his name. Did they say it? Did they say it in the first cutscene? Well, great. Yes, I am gonna pick up a thing near the dead guy so he can grab my hand or something. Old note from sewer. Besides the locked gate at the far end of the sewer, uh, there was a ladder which would take you to the old war. Word. If you could, if you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be one, the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. R. Great. I mean, are you gonna jump on me after I passed you? That would make sense. Okay, that is a closed door completely with a gate on it. What is that? What is okay, it's locked. What do I do about it? I need a key or something. Oh, this needs two keys. Are those the secret areas or something? I don't know. Ooh. The lights, man. You not flicker? I have enough of For Honor. Like I'm sleeping and just crying during the night. From all the nightmares about Gladiator flickering his own. I'm going really slowly on this. Like, I have to assume that something's gonna jump on me from some side. I like how sometimes the music just stops. I feel like I'm scaring myself more than the game actually wants to scare me. Maybe. Okay, there's a red button. I wanna press it. It actually looks like a really, really pleasing color. But, no. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go here and read this dossier. Boiler room node, 13 o'clock. STM, STEM, uh, system operation test begins. 1315. Success, confirmation of brainware synchronization, loss, losses minimal. Continuing experiment. Whoa, agent cl collects the data. Fuck. How do I go back into it? Uh, tab, M, E, can I, can I not read them back? Are you kidding me? Why? Why? Why has this happened to me? I mean, I mean, yeah. Oh, there you go. Archive. I'm dumb. Okay, wait. This is the personal documents. Okay, there you go. Boil, boiler room note. Okay, anomaly occurs. Not... How do I scroll down? Nope, that doesn't work. Mouse wheel, scroll. Welp. Fuck it, I guess. Phone, why are you vibrating? Cool, messages, I don't care. Okay, let's go into that room. Can we pull the fire alarm instead of pressing the big red button? The fire alarm trigger is also pretty red. It's, it's pretty red. I don't like that my FOV just expanded a whole bunch. In a hallway. Oh, I remember this. I'm honestly the fucking afraid at this point, man. I'm really tensed up. I wouldn't say I'm scared, per se, because the thing that really gets me in fucking horror games are jump scares, and honestly, it probably gets most, but... Okay. Okay, there's a man there. I know that I can hide here. But isn't this where he wants me to hide though? I feel like it's gonna be kinda easy to catch me in here. Alright, let's watch a movie. Oh god. The fucking mic shook from that.
Jesus. Dude, nice way of making me fucking scared. Like, the, the fact that he ran past the fucking locker and not on me. I do not want to get out. Can I just stay in here? I think I'm gonna just stay in here. So thank you, everyone, so much for watching. My name is Artur. And I'll see you in the future. Tell me what you think of this down in the comments below. Yeah. Yeah, see you then.